By the end of this video, you will be able to do this. I never believe this, but I've only had one piano lesson. I was six years old. This lady was trying to teach me hot cross buns. I said, get lost, hun. Let's play something cool. I don't want to learn this boring freaking song. Then I did not touch a piano again for like eight years until a song caught my ear and I decided to teach myself how to play it on the piano. And that is the song I'm going to teach you how to play today. I'm going to teach you exactly how I taught myself to play it, how I think about it in my head still to this day. And this just goes to show you without even having a lesson before, it is possible for you to start playing piano anytime, any age, anywhere. So first I'm gonna show you the left hand, then I'm gonna show you the right hand. I'm gonna walk you through that step by step too, all right? So be sure to stay till the end. We're actually gonna start with the right hand, okay? So I would take your pointer finger and your pinky finger, put them on E and B, and then have your thumb go to B. You're gonna alternate between these two notes and your thumb four times. And guess what? That is the whole pattern for the intro. So seriously, y'all, before we do any other notes, I want you to sit here for 19,000 hours and just do this. Just get used to it, because you and that pattern are gonna be best friends by the end of this video. Okay, but for real now, let's play the other notes. Still B's on the outside, but F sharp in the middle. So four times again. Back to that first one. Then we're shifting down to A's on the outside with a C sharp in the middle. So it looks like I'm a doofus and I accidentally made some of the notes flats instead of sharps. Just know if you see a flat, it's actually a sharp of the next note down. So if you see a D flat, it's actually a C sharp. Okay. All right, then you repeat the first two positions again. Then you stay on the B's and go to D sharp. All right, that's the only thing that's different about this time around. Then we're going back to the A's and C sharp. Not too bad, right? But it doesn't really mean much without that left-handed bass line absolutely tearing it up. All right, so before we do anything, again, we're gonna do the pattern first. Press E. Nice. And then just press it three times over and over again. One, two, three. And this is how I taught myself to play with both hands at the same time. Guys, I'm not kidding. I thought I would never do it. I thought I wasn't a piano player. All right, but you can get your brain to think about it in a certain way that works for you. This is just what works for me. I hope it works for you too. So right here, I'm going to show you two super simple, easy, broken down parts. If you can do just these two things, you can play this whole super popular intro with both hands. So just do this. And here's part two. Sit here for 19,000 hours and do it. And that's it, guys. I'm serious. If you can do this. Keep your left hand on E, but we're going to start moving through the different hand positions on the right hand. All right, so see if you can play along with me right here. Practice, practice, practice. Your brain will remember how to do that for you, okay? If you do it enough, I promise, please stay patient. It does not happen instantly, but I can guarantee you it will happen. All right, I think we are ready to do the whole real thing. So instead of hitting E every time on those three hits, we're just gonna hit different notes, okay? And it's just memorization, guys. It's not a matter of your talent or your skill. So instead of hitting E three times, we're gonna hit these three notes. You just did that. Let's do it again. All right, your confidence should be peaking right now. So let's move on to the next part. Remember the second position? All right, so it's, it's these three notes this time. these three notes and back to this fourth position all right so 
so it's this. Start over. We are almost there, guys. We're going to walk through that last part again because it's a bit tricky. All right, so let's walk through that second part of the intro one more time. We've got this. All right, so we're doing these three notes instead. Then we go to those Bs and D sharp. Then we're going G sharp up high, G sharp down low to A. Those are your three note hits. They're a little weirder than normal, okay? And that's gonna be harder, but again, you can do it. The notes are just farther apart, guys. I'm telling you, it's a mind game. All right, so we're doing this. Y'all, that's amazing. I swear, this is the first like full two-handed thing you're doing. This is so amazing of you. This is incredible. I want to hear about it. I promise you, taking the time to repeat it over and over with the way I showed you, you're gonna give yourself no choice but to be able to play this song. And you had no idea you could even do it before. Here's your final test. After you've learned everything, this is the final test. See if you can play along with me at full speed. Here we go, y'all, come on. so proud of you let's go be sure to stay tuned for more tutorials comment songs you want to learn check out my other videos i have tons of short tutorials and random tips out there remember to stay confident in yourself motivation and confidence comes from just forcing yourself to do something over and over again for a little bit even if you don't like it but if you have an end goal in mind it's all worth it i'm proud of y'all let's go i'll see you next time